Good morning, it's Miss Cranville. I'm in my Star Wars pajamas. They're cool. Um, and I am going to make some artwork. I also have pajama hair. And I just thought I would show off some of my favorite materials and how I like to make artwork and what I like to use. So I pulled out my favorite stuff over here. Get it better. That's just the decoration. And I'll kind of show you what I have and what I like. So this is a material that I keep out all the time. Kind of like your materials that are on the shelves in the art room. These are my favorite things to use. So I just love using regular colored pencils. I can blend with them easily. And these are twistable color pencils. They kind of feel more like a crayon, but they're very thin. So they're great for details. These are just some gel pens. They're always fun to use. And in here, I have a really cool material. These are watercolor pens. And they're like paint brushes, but they're in pen form. So, if I write with this, it's a little dry since it's my first time today using them. It's like I'm painting, but, and I'm not paying attention to this broken bill thing. I fixed it. You can see a kind of brush tip, like a paintbrush. They're really fun. And then another thing I like to keep is this big gray box. And inside I have all the common materials that I would need. Crayons. These are some markers. These are another cool material. So in the art room, we have watercolor pencils. And these are watercolor pencils as well. So they write like a colored pencil. And then I have a paintbrush set. And these again are pens. They have water inside. And when I brush it over the watercolor pencil, it turns it into paint, activates the watercolor. So these are really cool material that I have fun with. I got these on Amazon. You could also just use paintbrush with watercolor pencils, like we do in art room. Some scented markers, oil pastels, markers, regular colored pencils. I mean, this box is just never ending. More markers, colored pencils, and crayons, and everything that you might want to use. So, I am going to explore making with my watercolor pencils and water brushes. And I'm also going to try out these a little more because I got these as a birthday gift and I haven't used them very much, just kind of played around. And what I'm going to be making is a still life. So I found a few objects around the house that I could draw and paint, and that's going to be my subject. So I picked a really simple thing. I'm gonna do these pieces of fruit right here. There's a variety of color, texture, shapes, even on my apple. There's some red, some yellow, a little bit of green little bit of orange look to it. So I just set it up how I'd like to draw it. Now I'm going to sketch it out. Apple. I'm going to do some overlapping. I'm doing a very light sketch to begin with. My lemon's a little smaller but also an oval. It's a little flat on the bottom. 
And my pear is an oval. It's a little bigger. And once I get my shapes in place, I can start adding the details. So on my apple, it's round and it flattens out a little. And there's a bigger curve. And it's behind my lemon over here. So I'm not going to darken that area. My lemon, a little bit lumpy actually. I have kind of like a triangle sticking off of my lemon right here. You see it a little bit different than I do too because of the angles that we're looking. So if you're seeing something different, draw what you see. I'm gonna post a picture of my still life too. Uh oh, it's not good. You don't wanna move your still life. Um, so that maybe you could try to draw it too, or maybe you have some vegetables or fruits around your house that you could draw, or even toys. A still life can be made using any subject that you have available in your house. People use cups. I could have used this decoration. I could have used my cup. I could have used my water bottle. Maybe if I have an empty water bottle. I could put some of these out and draw that as my subject. So if there's anything that you would have in normal life that you could then set still and take the time to draw. So my pear is very lumpy over here. It's got an indent where these stems, I guess they are called. Okay, so I'm not going to do too much sketching. I'm just doing the contour, which the word contour in French means outline, and I'm going to erase the lines I don't need because I made a lot of extra lines while I was sketching. And one thing that I'm thinking about is my pencil will smudge a little bit when I add the paint and the water, so I don't want to have extra lines that I don't really need. Okay, so that size clean. I'm using number four craftsmanship while I'm erasing to make sure I don't have any lines I don't need. I'm not letting my hand rub the page because it'll rub that gray char um, charcoal around. And I just used a mechanical pencil to draw. And then I'm just using this eraser. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to try maybe one of my fruits with these. And then on the baby, we'll do another fruit with the color pencils, just so I can use a variety of materials. My number one favorite material is oil pastels. So that's why I haven't really tried these out much. I think I'm going to do the pear. I'm looking for colors that I might see in the pear. I'm going to put the rest away because this set came with a ton. These were also from Amazon. So I'm looking for the colors that I see because even though this pear is green, it is not one shade of green all over. And I see a darker kind of gray tone green down here because of the shadow. So I'm just filling in that first color and then I'm gonna put this down, pick another color. I see kind of like a lime green over here because my window's there and I have the sunlight shining. So I'm gonna put that over here. It's a little bright. Um, like I said, I wanna explore these. So I'm gonna try to mix it with like a little bit of a orangish yellow color to dull it down. Mm, worked a little. They're not really blending the way I thought they would. Wonder if I had water. It's all about exploring. 
So I'm just testing things. If I don't like the way this artwork turns out, I can make another one. Just for fun, just to experience these materials and learn more about them. You're probably thinking, where do you see orange on that pair? But I actually do see kind of orange color and I'm gonna try to make that out of these colors that I'm mixing. Maybe put some green around it to bring that out. Yeah, I think that actually worked. I'm being very light so that I don't have a lot of color going on to my page. This is just a normal sketchbook. I'm not using a lot of color paper. So, so far I have a pretty nice color happening. I'm noticing these like scratches and I'm gonna think about adding those later, but not until I'm done because they're a detail and I want them to go on top of my color. So I'm adding a lot of green in here because I just kind of see a nice solid green and it kind of circles around I'm using my convex and concave lines. Concave is going to make it look round. Convex is going to make it look like it's a hole more. So I'm looking for those lines that'll give a clue to make my work look more three-dimensional. Also, adding my shadow and my highlight is going to add some dimension. All right, so I'm going to quietly work and talk about my work in a few minutes. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm checking to look for colors on my art subject the whole time with my eyes, constantly observing. Okay, so during my work so far, these pens don't blend as much as I like them to. They're more like markers than paint, but I don't think it's too bad. Um, here's what I was drawing. Trying to show. Like I said, a lot more shadow and highlight coming window than in the direction I showed you but that was a fun little study and I'll post a picture when I'm done with everything so that you can see how my work turned out and hopefully this will inspire you to draw something try out a new material try out an old favorite material try out using a old material in a new way so yeah and Post your artwork to your class story when you're done so we can all see it and celebrate it. 